Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I go by Nidimi on the internet and this is my crafty space. Hi, hello, welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to sh be showing you guys how to make this very simple chevron bracelet. Now, this uh, tutorial is going to be a super in-depth tutorial for anyone who has never made a friendship bracelet before in their life and is just getting into this craft. This is the video you should watch. I went into like extreme detail about a lot of things. Um, I show you guys how to make the loop how to do like the the whole like the what's it called the teardrop loop sorry um i showed you guys how to make this bracelet itself and how to do the knots um i also showed you guys the triangle ends the ties and how to finish off your bracelet i also i'll also try to include timestamps for everything if you're just uh wondering about one portion of this video i will if you guys want to see how to make this um then yeah keep on watching Okay, everybody, so to make your chevron friendship bracelet, um, you're gonna need a couple of things, um, and I'm gonna quickly go over them. So you're gonna need some embroidery floss. Now this is the thing we're gonna be making our friendship bracelet out of. Um, another thing you need um, is a pair of scissors, just so we can cut our embroidery floss. Um, and the last thing that I would recommend you have, but you don't need to have, is a ruler, um, just so we can like um, see how long our bracelet is, and I will tell you guys how long to make it. Um, so yeah, those are the things you're gonna need. Um, if you want to, a lot of people also, um, not on a clipboard, so if that's what you prefer, you're also gonna need one of those. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into cutting our strings. I know a lot of people ask when they're beginning, um, how long do I need to cut my strings to? Because I know it can be kind of confusing if you cut them too short, your bracelet's going to turn out too short. Um, and if you cut, uh, cut them too long, sometimes it gets kind of in your way and it gets kind of annoying. So what I would recommend is cutting a meter um, for each string you're going to need. So we're going to be using five strings for our uh, five colors, sorry. We're going to be using five colors for our bracelet. And um, I'm going to show you guys how long to cut each of them. So I'll show you a bracelet I made um, beforehand. Um, so as you guys can see here, this bracelet has um, five colors. And so we're going to need five colors for that. This bracelet has 10 strings. Now um, you're going to need, so to have 10 strings, you're going to basically need to cut two strands of each of the colors. So I hope that makes sense. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut a strand of two meters long and then we're going to fold it in half. So um, if you want to, a lot of people also cut to wingspan length. Now that basically means that they hold the strand, one st side of the strand right here in their hand and then they pull it to where like your hands are straight across to the other like end side of their arm. I don't really like this method just because um, I find that my bracelets turn out a bit short if I do it that way. Um, but if you want to do it that way and that's your way of preference, that is fine as well. So I'm going to cut two meters of each one of these strands and then I'm going to join back here and um, we're gonna, I'm going to show you guys how to make the loop and then how to do the little teardrop loop at the beginning and then I'm going to show you guys how to make the bracelet. So yeah, I'm going to let you guys do that and I'm going to do that and then we're going to be back here. Okay guys, so I cut my strings and I just completely forgot that I forgot to mention that you also will need some tape if you are going to be working on a desk just to tape your uh, your bracelet down while you're working on it. Um, you don't have to use this type of tape, you can also use some scotch tape or like whatever tape you want, whatever you're comfortable with, uh, they all work fine as long as you can just tape it to a desk. Um, so basically what I've done is I've cut my strings to two meters long, like I set to do so um and then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take both of the ends of the strings and we're gonna just put them together and you're gonna find the middle side right here we're gonna find the middle and from that middle we're gonna tape it down now this is how i like to do my loop if you guys do a loop a different way then that is okay as well if you guys don't want to do a loop that's completely fine too you can just tie an overhead knot um and then just start from where i start explaining um how to do the the like pattern for the chevron i guess so basically now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start making the loop so the loop looks like this now it has we're making knots along the loop right here sorry that is not focusing okay like that so we're gonna make knots along the loop now these knots are gonna be forward i think they're gonna be forward backward knots um because that is I'm, I'm just gonna show you guys basically i'm not quite sure what they're called uh, i kind of forgot at the moment but i'll show you guys so you're gonna pick your color i um let me do okay i'll do the orange i think the orange is fine so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our strings like this so we're basically gonna have 
or orange or whatever color you're going to do the loop with on your uh, left side and then the other bundle of string on your right side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our orange and this is basically how you also make the French bracelet. We're going to make a knot on it. So we're going to basically draw four with our string and then we're going to take this part of the string that is over and we're going to cross it under and through. Um, I hope you guys can see that. Let me just move this up a bit so you guys can see this a bit better uh, when I do this again, like that. And then we're gonna pull tight. Now be careful because since this is still with the tape, you don't wanna pull it too tight um, because you don't want the tape to kind of move around and be kind of flimsy. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the opposite of that. So instead of doing a forward knot like we just did, we did a half forward knot. So basically a forward knot would be doing that twice, what I just showed you, what I just showed you guys. Now we're gonna do a backward knot. Now this is a half backward knot. So basically the knot we, were, we are doing right now is called a forward backward knot, okay? It doesn't really matter what the knots are called as long as you just do them as I show you guys. Um, now I forgot to mention that I am left-handed. So I do my knots a little bit differently than how right-handed people will do them um but basically you're do still doing the same action it's just that I use my left hand to do it and you might use your right hand to do it um so now I'm going to show you guys how to do this backward knot so we're going to basically do the same thing we're going to do a four over our string your string should show a four like that and then we're going to take this uh the the um sorry the string that is on our right side uh no sorry on our left side and we're going to cross it under like this and then inside the four and then we're going to pull it through and then this is what we're going to take and we're going to pull it down to right here to uh sorry to, to right here sorry okay i'm going to explain that again because i don't know if that was um very um understandable so what we're going to do again so now our string is on our uh left side what we're going to do is we're going to do a four and then we're going to take this string that's right here we're going to bring it underneath and through the loop like so and then we're going to pull tight like that. Now what we're going to do is going to do the complete opposite. It's basically a mirror image of the same thing we just did. Sorry. And these strings should be in the back of your work like that. Um, okay. So we're going to do a backwards four like this. And then we're going to take our string, put it under and pull through. Sorry. And pull through like so. Now our strings are kind of long at this point, so it might take a little bit more pulling through, um, but it's it's just fine as is. Okay, we're gonna be doing that three times on each side, um, both of the, those knots. So basically on this side, we're gonna be doing this one more time and then we're gonna flip our work and do the, the same thing on the other side. So I'll show you that when we get to it. So I'm gonna show this one more time. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a four and then we're gonna go under, and pull through like that and then we're going to pull tight now you shouldn't be pulling too tight just tight enough so you won't be able to kind of like move your string when you go like that you shouldn't be able to see what's uh, underneath it now we're going to do the opposite so we're going to do a backwards four under through and then pull tight Okay, so now we've done this three times on this side. We've done a forward backward knot three times on this side. And now what we're gonna do is basically flip our work and do it on this side that's back here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tape off and we're gonna just flip our work carefully. I'm just gonna hold this like this and just kind of flip my work like this, okay? And then I'm going to, basically my work is now upside down, okay? So you can see that it looks a little bit different and I'm just gonna put my tape back on top like that. So I like to do it like this because then I can actually see my middle, like I can do my uh, loop exactly in the middle, but you can do more of these, uh, more of the knots of the same way we just did it um, six times and then just finish like that. But I just like to make sure my, my strands are in the middle. So now what we're going to do is basically our string is now on the wrong side, right? So our string now wants to go this way. So what we're going to do now, instead of doing a forward backward knot, we're going to do a backward forward knot. So basically what that means, we're going to start with the backward. So we're going to do a backward four. Sorry, I'll, I'll make it like this so you can see it better. We're going to do a backward four. And then we're going to go through, under, and through the loop like that. And then we're going to pull tight. Okay, now what we're going to do is go back now. So we're going to do the forward part of the knot like that. So we're going to take this and we're going to go through the loop like that. 
So basically we're going to keep on doing that. So we did this once and we want to do it three times. Uh, so we are going to do this two more times now. So we're going to do go like this. Now I'm just going to show you the action instead of talking to you while I do it. Okay, so I have finished making my loop and now I'm going to take this off. And now this is my loop part. So this is the portion up here that we have just done. As you guys can see. See? And it looks very pretty. So now you can see that our threads, you want to find the side where your threads are, you, you find these little things right here on the sides. That's the side I like to start knotting from just because I think it looks nicer. So basically on the wrong side, what you'll find is your strings kind of hanging out like that and you can't see one of those little knots that we've done up here. So you want to flip it to the side that it has those little like knots, if you can see that like that. Okay, so basically we're going to tape it down like that now. So we're going to take both of our strings and kind of pull them together like this to make sure they're all on the same side. Okay, and now we're going to tape this down. So what I like to do is I like to take a piece of, a piece of tape and I just like to cut a little bit off of it like this, like that. And then I like to cut like right here and then this is how I'm going to tape this to the table so I like to take this and like put it like that and kind of like loop it around and then like tape it back on itself like that and I find this holds it quite well um you guys can tape it to the table however you'd like but I just this is the method I prefer and I kind of came up with and then I like to take another piece of tape um and just put it on top of that to make sure it's nice and secure like this so that's how I like to tape my threads. Now, what we're gonna be doing now is we're going to be doing our little teardrop loop. Now, to do that, it's very simple. Um, it's basically the same thing we've done till now. So we wanna spread both of our uh, different strings to different sides. So each string goes to its own respective side. And now we're basically gonna be putting all of our strings in order. So if you want, you wanna go the string that is gonna be first, like this light blue here, has to be first in the teardrop loop. And then the second string is gonna be the second string in, in your pattern, basically. So all of the strings are going in the order they should go in the bracelet. So I'm gonna start with my dark blue. And then after my dark, dark blue, I'm gonna have this like medium blue, and then I'm gonna have a light blue. And then I'm going to have a light orange and an orange. So this is how I'm going to spread my strings out. You should do the same. Just make sure you know your order. You don't actually have to spread them out like this. So now to start, we're going to put all of our strings together except for the first string that's going to go in the order. So basically to, to start our loop, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a forward backward knot. Okay, so to do that, like I showed you guys, um, oh, another thing, sorry, before I keep going, um, another thing you want to make sure is that your string is actually on the side, um, like, like this, you can really see that it's coming out this way. If it's not, just give it a bit of a pull and it should become on the, the right side. Um, and it just looks better in the final, like, product at the end. So, yes, to start doing our, our, um, our teardrop loop, oh, sorry about that, um, we're gonna do a forward backward. So... We're gonna do a four, like I just showed you guys, and then we're gonna go under and through, like that, forward. So basically, the forward knot moves your string this way, and then now we're gonna do a backward knot to return our string back here. So now we're gonna do a backward, so like that. Like so, and then it's that simple. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this string, or the first string we've worked, we're gonna put it away. Now this string we're not gonna be knotting with anymore. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our second string in the row, we're gonna give it a little pull to the right, to the side we want it to be, onto the left side. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the exact same thing. So we're gonna do a forward backward knot. So a four, and then through the four, under and through, like that. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So a four, uh, a backwards four, sorry. And then under and through, like that. And then we're gonna keep on doing that in the rotation of our color. So uh, same thing with this string that we just did. We're gonna put it away and we're not gonna be knotting on this anymore. Okay, now we're gonna take our next string. We're gonna give it a little bit of a pull to the left side. And then we're gonna do a four, like this. Forward, backward, same thing. Forward, like that. 
and then the backward part of the knot like that. I'm gonna, I'm just assuming you guys already know how to do this, um, because I don't want this video to be too long, even though it is uh, probably gonna be quite long anyway. So same thing with this last string right here, um, with the next string in, in your row. So you wanna do a forward, backward, and backward. Okay, and then the last string that you have, the last string that you've just knotted with, you're not going to do anything on it. So we're going to put this just a string aside as well. So all these strings are done, and this is um, the beginning of our teardrop loop. Now we have to repeat the exact same thing on the other side, except here we're going to be doing backward forward knots. So we're going to take our first string in the row, same thing. This is now, um, what you've done here is the same thing that you're going to be doing here with the same color. So we're going to take our first string, which for me is my dark blue, and we're going to be doing a backward forward. So to do that, we're going to be doing a four, a backwards four, sorry. And then we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be taking our thread under and through the four. Like that. And we're going to pull it tight. Sorry. Uh, so now your thread wants to go this way. And now we're going to be putting it back. So we're going to do a four and then underneath and through like that and pull it this way. So you want to give it a little tug in the right direction like that. Okay, now our next string. We're going to take our next string in the row, which for me is my blue. I'm going to tug it in to the right side. We're going to give it a little bit of a pull to the right side. And then we're going to be doing the exact same thing. So we're going to do a backwards four, a backwards forward knot. So we're, to do that, we're going to do a backwards four through under and through the loop like that. And then we're going to give that a little bit of a pull. And then we're going to do the exact opposite. So we're going to do a forward, a four, and then go under and through the loop like that and give it a little bit of a pull in the right direction. And then we're gonna, not gonna be knotting on these strings as we did on this side. So it's exactly the same thing, just the opposite. Um, okay, so next string is our light blue and we're gonna be doing a four, a backwards four, sorry, I keep on saying four, but I mean a backwards four, um, under and through, and then a four, and then under and through like that. And then just tug it to the right side. And then we're going to do this with our last string, which for me is my light orange. So I'm going to do the exact same thing now. Again, same thing as I just did. Um, so we're going to do a backwards four under and through, and then a four under and through. Like that. Okay, so now we have almost finished our triangle ends. Um, I know that uh, some people, they don't like doing a knot with these two strings until they start the pattern. I don't mind doing it. Uh, I think you maybe should do this um, if you're still a beginner. So basically, so to do a forward knot, we're basically going to do a four and then under and through like we just did. But now, except for going backwards, we're going to do the exact same thing again. So we're going to do a four. Just make sure you keep this a bit tight in tension like while you are doing the next part of your four or else it's going to get loose like that. So just make sure it's a bit in tension like that. And then you're going to do a four under through like that. And then you're just going to make sure this is pulled tight. And then you're going to pull this back. Oh, that did not work well for me. See, I just got this bad like that. So this is why people sometimes don't do this. If you have to take out your knot like me, uh, just kind of tug on it tightly. Like, don't, sorry, don't tug on it. Just give it like a bit of like that. And then you should be able to pull it out quite easily. Um... A lot of uh, something beginners do a lot. I'm just going to redo this knot and just kind of talk to you um, about some beginner mistakes um, while I'm doing this. So something um, a lot of beginners um, tend to do is or they'll knot too tight or they'll, they'll knot too loose. Um, I know that when I started making bracelets, I knotted way too loose. Um, but um, And then after that, I started knotting way too tight. So... Just make sure that if you're knotting too loose, try to pull a little bit more while you're making your knots. And if you knot too tight, then try to pull a little bit less while you're making your knots. Okay, so now we have finished making our little um, our little teardrop loop like this. So now you can see it looks quite similar to the one I made right here. And now we're going to start making our pattern of the chevron. Hey everybody, so I have just kind of moved the camera a little bit closer so you guys can maybe see a bit better. Um, something I like to do at this step is take just a bit more tape. I know we're using a lot of tape. Um, if you're using a clipboard, just maybe like move the, the bracelet a little bit up. But I just like to take a little bit more tape and kind of tape it over uh, the loop. Don't tape it over any of the strings because you, you're going to need to use them. 
but just tape it over the loop because um, right now the bracelet is kind of, it moves a lot, so I just want to make sure it's nice and secure while we work on it because if your bracelet moves a lot, it gets kind of annoying to work with and it's just not fun. So I'm just going to tape over that loop a little bit like that. Oh, sorry, that was just over some of my strings as well. But I like to tape it like that and then my bracelet moves a bit less while I do that. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to take our first strand right here and we're gonna take our second strand like that now these are the two strands that are gonna be knotted onto okay so this guy is gonna be knotted onto you're gonna be knotting onto this guy and this guy is gonna be knotting onto this one these strings at the moment are not gonna be are not gonna be used so i'm gonna just move them here a bit okay so now i'm gonna show you guys how to make the knots now if you've made the loop and you've made the the uh the teardrop loop then you guys are completely fine you'll probably understand how to do this as well because it's the exact same thing just with a tiny bit of a difference so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing some forward knots so to do a forward knot like you guys probably already know we're going to be doing a four and then going under and through the loop like that like we just did just before now to do a forward knot we're just going to be doing that twice so a four Sorry. Under and through the loop. Under and through. Like that. So that is the four we're not here. Just And then now what we're going to do is we're going to take this string and we're not using it anymore. And then we're going to be taking our next string. And this is my light blue for me. And we're going to take our dark blue string. So this dark blue string is going to be the knotting string on all of them. So we're going to use this string to knot on all of these three strings. Well, all of these four, even though we just made the knot on this. So all of these four strings are going to be knotted on by this strand right here. Our first strand that was right up here is now going to start moving into the middle. So, okay. So our strand is going to go into the middle. And now we're going to be doing the exact same thing that we just did on our blue string. We're going to be doing it on our light blue string. So we're going to be doing a forward knot right here as well. So four, under, and through, like that. And then we're going to be doing it twice. Just make sure that now when you're doing this, make sure you pull a little bit tightly. Just make sure that there is no gap between these two, um, if you guys can see that. I hope you guys can. And then we're going to be doing that again. So we're going to do another four just to secure the knot in place like that and then we pull we pull on that and then that is our second knot so now we're going to move these two strands out of the way and then we're going to be doing it on our light orange string same thing so we're going to be doing a forward knot as well with our same dark blue string so a four under and through and then a four under and through like that and then also same here you want to make sure you pull tightly on your first um your first knot and then yeah just same thing it's basically the same thing you're just repeating the same steps um so now we're gonna do our orange string so we're gonna do a four same thing four and we're gonna go under and through just make sure because this is our knot the first knot that we did uh, the knot that, sorry, the, the connecting knot that basically connects between both of the sides. Uh, you just want to be a little bit more careful on this knot because sometimes it can get a bit undone, um, like what happened to me when I was doing the knot itself. So yeah, you just make sure you're kind of careful while you're doing this knot. Don't pull too tightly on any of the strings. Um, but yeah. So again, another four and then under and through like that. So those were all of our forward knots and now we have managed to move our dark our dark blue string from the left side into the middle. So now we're going to be doing the exact same thing uh, just with a little bit of a difference on the opposite side on this side right here on our right side. Put this let's put our blue string with our little bundle right here because we're going to be ne needing to make a knot on it too and then we're going to move all of these four strings over to that side. We're not going to be using them at the moment. So now to do this part, we are going to take our dark blue string on this side and we're going to be doing a backward knot onto our blue string. So again, what we're going to do is a backwards four under and through the loop like that. And then we're going to be doing that again. So a backwards four under, under and sorry, under and through the loop like that. And then pull tight. And then we're going to be doing, we're going to move our blue string away. And then we're going to be taking our light blue string. 
and we're going to be doing the exact same thing. So we're, we're going to be doing a backwards four and then under and through the loop like that. And then another backwards four. And also here, same thing as on the other side, you want to make sure you pull it tightly to make sure there's no gap between the two strings to make sure they're nice and put together. And then we're going to do this again. So a four under and through the loop like that. Sorry, a backwards four, not a four. And then we're going to do the same thing on the orange, uh, on the light orange string. So we're going to be doing a backwards four under and through the loop. Sorry, under and through the loop like that. And then pull tight. Same thing here. You want to make sure that there's no gap between the strings. And then another backwards four under and through the loop like that. And then last, our last string uh, till we get to the loo. Sorry, this is our second to last string. So we're going to be doing another backwards knot. So backwards four. This is how I just knot. Um, I just want to do this a bit quicker. So backwards four under and through the loop. You're still welcome to do it the way I showed you guys at the beginning. And then pull tight. And then another backwards four under and through the loop like that. Okay guys, so in the clip I filmed for this video, um, this clip has a bunch of like background noise, so I thought I'd just re-record this, um, so I'm basically doing a voiceover right now, so what I'm doing with my hands does not match my voice, but basically what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be taking both of our strings that we just moved to the middle and we're going to be doing a knot with them. Now it really doesn't matter what knot you do on which string, um, because they are the same color, but the knot I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing a uh, a backward knot, I think, on my string. So basically what you're, you're going to do is a backwards four under and through the loop. And then you're going to be doing that again. So backwards four under and through the loop. So yeah, and then I'm going to meet you guys back for the next row. Guys, so to do our next row and basically all of the rows in this bracelet, um, what we're going to do is basically just repeat that first row. So it is really that simple all of so I'm, I'm basically going to show you guys this again but it's it's a quite simple bracelet you're making the same knots all the time so i'm gonna also now start from um the left side you are also welcome to start from the right side whatever you feel more comfortable with um so we're gonna do the exact same thing so on the left side we're always going to be making forwards knots and on the right side we're always going to be making backward knots and then in the middle you can make whatever knot you want on whatever string you want uh so so I'm going to show you guys the row again, uh, just so you guys can maybe get the hang of it a bit more. So basically, again, forward knot, make a, a four, and then under and through the loop, like that. And then same thing again. So backwards four, under and through the loop. Now this is how I usually knot a bit more. Uh, I'm just going to be going a little bit faster with this because I'm going to assume you guys kind of know what I'm talking about by this point. So four, under and through the loop. Sorry, and the same thing goes for this rope. We're not going to be knotting on this string. Uh, every string you finish a knot on, you're not knotting on it anymore in that same row. Um, okay, so again, four, under, and through the loop like that. And then we're going to pull tight. And then we're going to do it on our, uh, on our orange string. So a four, under, and through the loop like that. And then a four, under, and through the loop. Now this might be a little bit, so basically now the string that you have in the middle also is now part of this side and this string um, on that side is part of this side. So you're going to treat this string as if it is uh, the same, like another string right here, basically. I hope that made sense. So you're going to be making uh, a forward knot on this string as well, on the dark blue string that we just made a forward, uh, a backward knot with right here. So yes, we're going to do a four under and through the loop and then four under and through the loop like that and then pull tight and then now we have managed to move our blue string into the middle and now we're going to be doing the exact opposite on this side so we're going to be doing backwards knots on all of these strings so now we're going to do the exact uh we're going to do the exact same just with backward knots so we're going to be doing a backward four under and through the loop like that and then pull tight under and through the loop and then pull tight sorry that's in my way pull tight like that and then same thing on our orange on our light orange string so uh backward four under through the loop pull tight backward four under through the loop and pull tight and then same with our orange so backward four under through the loop pull tight 
again, backward fold under, under and through the loop and pull tight. And then same thing on our dark blue string right here. So we're going to be doing the exact same thing. So backward four under through the loop and pull tight. And then again, under through the loop and pull tight. Um, and then we have cut the middle. So now with our two blue strings, we are going to do the exact same thing as we did on the last row. So you can make any sort of knot you want with these two strings together because it doesn't matter because they are the same color. So do a forward knot just to show you guys what it would be like um, with our other string. So you can do a four. This is how I usually knot. Maybe I'll show you guys. Um, so I don't like moving my entire string to the other side because uh, it's kind of uh, like a waste of time, I guess. If you're knotting fast, it just, you you really like, it, you don't need to do that. So instead of moving my, like my entire string to this side, what I like to do is I'll take the string like that and I'll, I'll like loop it over my finger like you guys can see right now and then i'll pull through and then i'll take this string that i've made a loop of and i'll just pull through it like that so this is how i like to knot you guys really don't have to knot like that uh not whatever however you guys like so i'll just show you guys that again if you want to knot this way so i take my finger like this and i pull through like that now yeah, so that's how I do it. And then I'm going to pull tight like that. So basically, you guys are going to be repeating those two rows over and over and over again with all these colors. So basically, the light blue is going to go through all of these strings into the middle. And then this light blue is going to go with it into the middle as well. And they're just going to keep on going like that. Um, the, the length I like to make my bracelets is to about six inches, uh, which is 15 centimeters. Um... What I would recommend, it really depends who you're making your bracelet for. Um, people with uh, smaller hands, like uh, kids, I guess, if you're making your bracelet for a child, then maybe make it a bit shorter. I would say like about like, I don't know, maybe like um, like five inches or like five and a half inches, which, which is about uh, 13 or 14 centimeters. Um, another thing I would say is when you are um, seeing how long your bracelet is, don't start um, from when you started your bracelet. Basically what I mean by that is you take your ruler and put it to where, like, put it to the top of the loop. Okay, so that's how you want to measure your bracelet. Um, from the top of the loop, not from where you started or else that's an incorrect measurement. Um, because when you tie your bracelet, you're basically also tying a part of the loop together. Um, and then I will meet you guys back to show you guys how to finish your triangle ends. Okay, everybody. So I just finished making my bracelet and I've made it to about five and a half inches long, um, which is about 14 centimeters. And um, that is kind of the length that I decided to stop at. And now I'm going to show you guys how to make the triangle ends at the end, which look like this. So this is what we're going to be doing now. So to do this, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to start on one of the sides. So I'm going to start on my right side. And basically what I'm going to be doing is going to be doing a forward backward knot. Now we're going to take our blue and our dark blue strings and we're going to take our blue string and we're going to do a backward, sorry, no, a forward backward knot onto our, um, onto our uh, dark blue string. So basically, basically to do that, what we're going to do is do a four inside, uh, sorry, under and then inside and then pull and then a backward four under and through the loop and then pull and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold these two strings together like this and then we're gonna take our orange uh, not our orange sorry our light blue string next basically the next string that's in the order and we're gonna do the exact same thing so we're gonna be doing a forward backward knot again so four under and inside and, and like through and then uh, backward four under and through like that. And you're going to need to really kind of make sure you pull this tightly and pull it inwards so it'll just be a lot more nice and like clean. And this you want to make sure that you don't make it too loose or else it'll look kind of funny. Okay, so same thing we're going to do with our next string. So we're going to hold our light blue together with our other blues and we're going to take our light orange string and we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to be doing another forward backward knot. So four under and through the loop, pull tightly and then four under and uh sorry backward four four and then under and through the loop as well and then this you also want to pull tightly on and then our last color is basically our orange and we're going to be holding our orange here uh our light orange with the blues as well and then we're going to take our orange and we're going to do the exact same thing so a four through under and through and then a backward four under and through and you want to also pull that tightly 
So now we have finished doing our triangle ends on our uh, right side, and now we're going to do the exact same thing on the left side, except with a um, backward forward knot. So we're going to start the exact same way. So we're going to take our dark blue and our blue, and we're going to be doing a, uh, a backward forward knot onto our dark blue with our blue string. So again, backward, uh, backwards four, under and through the loop, and then four, under and through the loop as well. And then you want to pull that tightly. And then we're going to take our next string in order, which for me is my light blue, and I'm going to hold both of my blues together, these two, my dark blue and my light, uh, and my, sorry, and my blue. And I'm going to do the exact same thing, so I'm going to take, I'm going to do a backward four and then a forward four, so a backward forward knot. So backward four under through the loop, uh, pull tightly, and then four under and through the loop, like that. And then pull tightly. And then we're going to hold all of our blues together. And then we're going to take our next string that's in order for me. That's my light, um, my light orange. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing. So backward forward knot again. So uh, backward four under through the loop. Pull tightly. And then four under through the loop. Pull tightly. And then we're going to do the exact same thing with our last orange. Um, so again, backward forward knot. So backward four under through the loop. And then again, four under through the loop. Like that and then this is how we do our triangle ends so i have finished my triangle ends and now what we want to do is we want to make some twisted ties basically to do twisted ties all you're going to do is you're going to um take uh, one of these sections so basically both of these little sections are going to be two different ties so i'm going to make two ties and then i'll show you in the end how to tie your bracelet if you're not sure um so basically each one of these section is, sections is going to be a tie so for now i'm going to just show you my left tie, uh, what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to just put this aside for now. So I'm going to take this left tie that I'm going to make and I'm going to split it into two groups. So I'm going to have my blues, um, which I have three blues right here, and then two oranges. So if you also made a bracelet with um, 10 strings, you should also be splitting your five strings into a group of three and a group of two. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start twisting both of them to the same side. So what I mean by that is you're going to start, I, I like twisting this way, I like twisting to my left. So basically I'm going to start twisting the string like that. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with my orange. Now what I like to do is I like to start twisting and then start um, kind of putting them together. But I also like to twist as I go, so I'll show you how I do that. So basically, now that we've both twisted them to the left, now what we're going to do is we're going to start twisting both of these strings with each other to the right. And I like to twist as I go while I do this. So basically, you can see that I'm twisting, and you can see how it's making the ties at the same time. So this is what I'm going to keep on doing until I get to the end. I like to make my ties um, quite long. I, used to, I usually just go like this and measure it till about like right here in my hand. That's just what I like to do, but I've gotten to my length, sorry, that I wanted to. It's kind of hard to do this around a tripod. So I'm just going to hold this together. And what you're going to do is you're basically going to do an overhead knot, which basically you want to go like that, like that, make a loop, and then go through the loop like that. I hope that made sense. And then just tie your knot quite tightly like that. And make sure you just your ties don't get loose. And then basically what you want to do is do the exact same thing on the other tie. I'm not going to show you this process because it's quite simple. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you when I finish my bracelet. And I'll show you guys how to tie this bracelet if you do not know how to do that. So yeah, guys, so that's, that's how you make this bracelet. And I'm going to quickly show you guys how to tie this because um, I know some people get a bit confused about how to tie this. So basically you have a loop right here and you have um, two twisted ties. So what you're supposed to do, or this is how I tie my bracelets. Um, I'm sure there's people who tie them differently. But basically what I do is I take one of the twisted ties. I go through the loop from the under, like underneath the loop. So this is the correct side of the bracelet. I go under the loop like that. And then basically all you do now is you just tie your bracelet like that. And then you would do a double knot if you're doing it on your wrist uh, on your wrist, and you want it to stay there for a long time. But yeah, that is how you make this bracelet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please do give this video a thumbs up. Um, and uh, if you guys like this type of con content, please do consider subscribing. I hope you guys have a good day and bye guys.